Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashamari Khan. So far, six problems I have completed on assignment. In this video, seventh problem I am going to explain. And this problem is different from the first six problems. How it is different, I will explain. If this problem is concerned with profit maximization. Actually, assignment algorithm given by Hungarian mathematician is for minimization type of problems. So, so far already we have done six problems. In those six problems, the objective was to minimize the time, minimize the cost. But in this problem, we have to maximize the profit. That is the point. Huh. So, in theory video, I have explained you the special cases in assignment problems where we have discussed about maximization type problem. If the problem is of maximization type, we have to convert it into minimization type and then apply the same algorithm. How to convert? The profit uh, elements should be converted into opportunity loss elements. So here in problem number seven. So before starting problem number seven, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Seventh problem you see. Five different machines can do any of the five required jobs with five different profits resulting from each assignment as shown below. So here jobs should be assigned to machines or machines should be assigned to jobs. So job number one, machine one, if we use machine A for job number one, we get 30 rupees as the profit. If the same job one, second machine, 37 rupees. Like this, all profit elements are given. Find out the maximum profit possible through optimum assignment. So for finding out optimum assignment, we need, uh, we need to apply that Hungarian method. That is for minimization time. So first thing, the profit matrix is converted into opportunity loss matrix by subtracting all profit elements from the highest profit. In the problem, the profit elements are given. The highest profit is 62. Highest profit in these all elements, 62. So deduct all elements from 62. So 62 minus 30 will get 32. See here. Similarly, 62 minus 37, we will get 25. 62 minus, 30, uh, minus 40 will get 22. Like that, from 62, subtract all the given elements, we will get opportunity loss table. The elements now here, these are the opportunity loss. In the problem, profits are given. We have to convert it into opportunity loss by subtracting all profit elements from the highest profit, 62. That's it. Now, from here onwards, the same procedure we apply. What is the procedure? Subtracting the smallest element in each row. From the corresponding element of that row, we get the reduced matrix as follows. Now we have to subtract, row subtraction as usual. How we have done in the previous problems, same method we'll do. First row, what is the minimum here? 22 is minimum. So 32 minus 22 is 10. Then 25 minus 22 is 3. 22 minus 22, 0. 34 minus 22 that is equal to 12 then 22 minus 22 is 0 that's it second row lowest is 22 again 22 so 22 minus 22 0 38 minus 22 is equal to 16 then 35 minus 22 is equal to 13 then 41 minus 22 will get 19. Then 26 minus 22 is 4. That's all. Third row minimum is 22 again. So 22 minus 22, 0. 30 minus 22, 8. Then 29 minus 22, 7. Then 32 minus 22, 10. Then 27 minus 22, 5. Next row minimum is again 22. So 37 minus 22 will get 15. Then 24 minus 22 is 2. 22 minus 22 is 0. 
then 26 minus 22 4 26 minus 22 4 last row minimum is 0 so same values will come 33 0 21 28 23 that's all so row subtraction we have completed now second step will be column subtraction in each column what is the minimum element subtract that minimum element from all the elements so here minimum element is 0 if you subtract 0 you will get the same values so 10 0 0 15 and 33 second column minimum again is 0 so same values 3 16 8 2 and 0 third column minimum again 0 so 0 13 7 0 21 next column minimum is 4 now 12 minus 4 is 8 here 19 minus 4 is 15 then 10 minus 4 6 4 minus 4 0 28 minus 4 24 last column 0 is minimum so same value 0 4 5 4 and 23 now row subtraction completed column subtraction completed now drawing the minimum number of lines to cover up all the zeros so how many zeros we can cover up in a single row see here here two zeros we can cover up these two zeros will be covered up in a single column here also two zeros are there here two zeros we have covered up in a single line then uh, these two zeros we can cover up in a single line right one zero last one zero is left so this one zero will be covered in this line we can draw either horizontally or vertically but minimum lines we require that is the most important condition now how many lines one two three four lines what is the order of the matrix five since the number of lines number of lines are not equal not equal to the order of the matrix order of the matrix so the solution is not optimum is not optimum the minimum uncovered element the minimum uncovered element is now you can see here minimum uncovered element is 4 subtract 4 from uncovered element and add 4 at the point of intersection at the point of intersection keeping the other values same keeping the other values same again drawing minimum number of lines to cover up all the zeros as usual all the zeros that's all same procedure we are applying so uh, the minimum uncovered element is 4 so subtract 4 from uncovered elements add 4 at the point of intersection and keeping the other values same now see here here intersection is there so 10 plus 4 is 14 here 3 plus 4 is 7 here 0 covered 8 0 8 0 no change covered now 0 is covered no change 16 is covered no change 13 minus 4 is 9 15 minus 4 is 11 4 minus 4 is 0 right 3 uh, 0 and 8 covered then 7 minus 4 is 3 6 minus 4 2 5 minus 4 1 then 15 plus 4 19 here 2 plus 4 6 0 0 4 as it is last row 33 covered no change 0 no change 
then 21 minus 4 is 17 then 24 minus 4 is 20 23 minus 4 is 19 that's all so now we have to draw the lines covering all the zeros either horizontally or vertically see how many zeros we can cover up in a single line you can see here two zeros two zeros one zero two zeros one zero column wise two zero one zero one two zeros one zero two zero the maximum two zeros we can cover up in a single line so what we'll do is uh, if we draw these two lines these two this is only one so vertically oh, one one line two zeros are covered here two zeros are covered like this two zeros are covered here two zeros are covered right now two zeros are left at two different places either horizontally or vertically any way you can draw right so i am drawing horizontally this line and this line vertically any line you can draw so how many lines one two 3, 4, 5, number of lines 5, order of matrix 5. Therefore, optimum, optimum solution is reached. Optimum solution is reached, right? Since number of lines are equal to order of matrix, the optimum assignments are as follows. The optimum assignments are as follows. Now, see here. First of all, we'll take the value, same values 14, 0, 0, 19, 33, then 7, 16, 8, 6, 0, 0, 9, 3, 0, 17, 8, 11, 2, 0, 20, 0, 0, 1, 4, 19. Now, while giving the assignment, what you have to see is if any row is having only a single zero, that should be assigned first. Otherwise, it will get cancelled. Every row, one assignment must be there. So, any first row, two zeros, second row, two zeros, third row, we have only one zero. So, this we assign first. Then what will happen? The other zeros in that column and row will get cancelled. Now, any other row having a single zero, yes, second row we have one zero. So, assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column and row. Any other row having a single zero, yes, first row we have only one zero. Assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column and row. Any other zero, yes, fourth row only one zero is there. Assign this zero and cancel if any other zeros, no. Fifth only one zero is left assign this zero no other zeros in that row and column that's it no arbitrary assignment we have done so in that case the solution is only unique one solution we will have we don't have multiple optimum solutions because no arbitrary rule. now assignment now we have to go refer back to the original problem to get the profit element now first one to c then second 2 to e 3 to a 4 to d and 5 to b now see the profit element 1 to c 1 to c profit is 40 then next one 2 to e 2 to e 36 then 3 to a 40 then 4 to d it is 36 and 5 to B, it is 62. That's all. Now we need the total maximum profit from this assignment. So 40 plus 36 plus 40 plus 36 plus 62. It comes to 214. So maximum profit is 240. That's all. Only one solution we have for this problem. So we have completed seven problems on assignment. So every problem, one or two new points are there. So if you concentrate on those new points, definitely you can get a good grasp on this topic of assignment problem. And I already told you comparatively assignment problems are much easier than transportation problem 
or uh, simplex method, linear programming, networking. If you compare with other chapters of this operation research subject, this assignment is very easy. So my suggestion to the students, no stone should be turned, left unturned. Every problem you should take it seriously and you have to practice a lot on this problem. Simply watching the video, listening to the lecture, that is not the end of the matter, that is not sufficient. You need a lot of practice. What I have observed, many students are just watching all these videos just before examination. It is not at all correct. See here, this subjects operation research, financial management, investment management, it needs a lot of interest. If you are interested in the subject, then only you can be able to understand properly. Otherwise, simply, if you do not understand the concept, if you simply try to solve the problem mechanically, it will not, I mean, help in increasing your knowledge. So my suggestion always take it seriously. From beginning onwards, you start preparing just two, three months before exams. Then only it will not be a burden. So this type of problems only in one night you cannot be able to remember, you cannot be able to understand. So follow my guidelines, follow my suggestions, definitely it will help you. So inshallah we will continue the next problem, eighth problem in the next video.